I can't even believe I'm going to tell you these stories. Hey, it's A back on your screen with another one. Hope you're all well. In this one, we're going to have a laugh. So grab a drink, grab a snack, because I'm going to run down the most embarrassing scenarios I've gone through since I've been living with this eye disease. I can't even blame it on life legally blind because in the years before I was officially legally blind, when this eye disease was playing tricks on me, I was out here acting a fool, okay? So let's get into it. And hopefully, or maybe not hopefully, some of you relate, so let me know down below because I would hope that none of these scenarios have happened to you, but secretly deep down inside, I hope I'm not solo on this. I'm not the only one who's done these things. So let's get into it. Which story should I say first? <laughs> Consider this a 10 to 12 part mini story time because I have so many things to tell you guys. All right. What is the most embarrassing thing I've done recently? All right. I got it. So a month ago or so, I've been good. I've been good recently. About a month ago, I was out with my friend Natasha. We went to this spot we've never been before. She said, meet me here. and We're going to walk over. I wasn't paying attention because I was so excited to see her. I haven't seen her in almost a year. So instead of doing what I usually do, which is zoom in to make sure that the street number matches the place we're supposed to go to, we both just wandered into a spot thinking it was Fondolola. You already know where the story's gonna go. So when the server comes over, he's like, what will you have? And I've always made a habit before the panorama to kind of get a glimpse of the menu so I'm not taking forever to zoom in and zoom out. So I said, I want the hibiscus margarita. He said, we don't have that. He said it nicer than that, but pretty much, he's like, well, we don't have a hibiscus margarita. I said, oh, that's strange because it's on your online menu. I noticed it wasn't on the paper menu, but I thought maybe sometimes they put the summer specials they really want to sell. So I said, okay, I'll get whatever you recommend. The drink comes, it was really bus. I said, okay, I'm gonna order the chicken tacos next. What menu are you going off of? Because we don't have chicken tacos, but I'd recommend the octopus. Then, I don't know what happened, but he realized, I think he's like, oh, what menu is that on your phone? And I scrolled all the way up. He said, this is Mother Cocktail, not Fonda Lola. And my friend started laughing so hard. I'm like, okay, girl, it ain't that funny. But that's not the first time that it's happened where I've gone somewhere thinking that I'm looking at the right menu when I'm looking at the wrong menu or I'm reading things wrong. I'll be like, hey, I'll have this. And they're like, what? And then I point to it and they're like, I don't know how you saw that, but that ain't what that is. So it was a little embarrassing but not the worst situation. This one was probably the worst, but this happened a long time. When I first started hostessing in, I think it would be, 2011 I'm pretty sure it was 2011 there was a couple that came in and I wasn't even that blind back then like I wasn't even legally blind I just was what two years into my eye disease not even because I was diagnosed in 2010 so I don't even I was guys I don't have any rhyme or reason for this but here goes a couple comes in the girl's wearing a flowy summer dress Somehow in my mind with my vision, I computed homegirls pregnant. So offer her a comfortable table. So I said, oh, do you want to sit here over here? It's more comfortable since you're expecting. She's like, what? I'm like, oh, since, you know, you're expecting to have a good night tonight because I thought she was <laughs> with child. So ever since then, in all the years since then, if someone comes in pregnant, unless the baby's hanging out with the umbilical cord, I am putting pregnancy on them because that was one of the most embarrassing moments. Even when I sat her down, she kind of looked at me crazy like, I really hope you didn't think I was pregnant because no woman out there wants to be told or assumed that they're pregnant when they are not pregnant. Okay. So another embarrassing story still within the restaurant is... All the times I've approached the wrong table thinking it's a group of my friends. So now I have a wave policy to the point where yesterday when I was out with my friend Efi, she was waving profusely for me to see, but it wasn't until I got closer that I was like, well, that's her. Because you never know, maybe someone's waving like that for the person behind me. All I know is the server probably thought her and I were super eager. Maybe we never saw each other in months or something. But no, that's just how people have to call me over to the table nowadays. If you call me by name, it's going to be Marco Polo up in here. I'll be looking this way and that way, trying to hear and find my way because I can't see you that way, especially in a dark place. Filling out a form or I'm writing down notes or I have to report something and I write in my handwriting, I can't lie, before my disease, my writing was a hot mess. So can you imagine what my writing looks like now that I can't even 
see what I'm writing. So when my manager works like, hey, X, Y, and Z, and I'm like, oh yeah, I wrote it down. Just like the list of things I was supposed to talk about today. I can't see this ish. I don't even know why I wrote it down. But it's embarrassing when you need to recall or recite something important. You're like, um, I think that's a zero. No, that might be an A. The person is just patiently there like, you need to get your ish together, okay? It's, it's really embarrassing whether it happens at work or whether I'm filling out something for a session or an appointment. It's just like, why am I like this? Why didn't I just use my phone? Oh yeah, because then I'm zooming in my phone and I'm like, ah, hold on, it's frozen. Like there's always something. Within relationships, it gets embarrassing when I'm meeting my man because back in the day, <laughs> this happened one time and I was just like, never again. Hey babe, going for the hug and the kiss? That ain't it. I'm not your man. I was like, your man's over there. So he's over there. The person that I thought was my man is over here. And I'm over here feeling awkward AF. Luckily for me, I'm not a shit talker. I'm not someone who talks behind people's back. But from time to time, someone might say something to me and I text someone else. She's been like, yo, just so you know, this is what it is. It's not something negative, but it just is stating it. But then I text the person that just told me and they're like, was that meant for me? I'm like, nah, it was meant for so and so. Sorry. I've also done that to a family member once. One time I had a conversation with them and then I went to call somebody else. I ended up calling them back and they're like, yes. And I'm like, oh, sorry, my bad. I meant to call somebody else. When that happens with someone I haven't spoken to in a long time, because that happens all the time. I'm thinking I'm calling one friend, then I call a friend I haven't spoken to in five years. Oh, I was just thinking of you. You were on my mind. I just wanted to check in. Oh, okay, but I, I, I do need to call somebody else. I'm so sorry. Let's talk about a few beauty scenarios. There's been times, especially when I was in the service industry, where I thought I looked good only at the end of the night. I'm just like, how did my coworkers let me go through my whole shift looking like this? My eyebrows, I forgot to fill in one or I did the lines from here to Narnia. I don't know what I was trying to do or I'm wearing a dark lip color that went all over the place on my tooth, in my nose. I don't know, it's everywhere but where it's supposed to be. And I'm greeting these customers looking like the Joker. Hello, no one could tell me. And I'm not the type of person I've just never been to check myself out in the mirror. So there's never been that regularity where it's like, maybe I should make sure my face is still my face. When I think someone's talking to me, but because I can't see where they're looking, I'll respond and they're like, no, no, I'm on the phone or I'm talking to the person next to you. And it's just like, sorry, more awkward than embarrassing. One time I was at a staff party and I was so excited to see someone because she worked at a different location. I've been with the company for so long that I worked at different spots, but the, the staff party was like a reunion. So do I not approach someone super hype? Like, Hey girl, how's it been? I miss you so much. She's like, mm, I don't know you. I'm like, Oh shoot. Sorry. I, I just played it off. Like I was drunk, but I hadn't even drank at that point, but it was just too much to explain. I'm visually impaired this, that, and next. I thought you were in so, so, cause you have the same haircut as her. As I'm walking away, I could hear her laughing to her friends like, who is that girl and what is she drinking? It's like, I ain't drinking nothing. This is just life legally bland. There's been times where someone has sent me an address, like let's meet here. And then I type it into Google instead of copying and paste it, which would be the safer bet. And then I end up at the other end of the city and they're like, where are you? It's been 45 minutes. Oh, I'm actually here. I thought you, no. I've also texted someone the wrong address. They'll say, oh, let's meet on Earl Street. And I text them Elm Street. I'm just like, why? Why am I like this? Sorry, guys. I couldn't even see to correct myself. You guys have met Jeff. You've seen him a lot in the vlogs. Because he knows a lot of people, whenever I used to go to his house parties, there would always be someone new and because they didn't know me, they sometimes message him afterwards and be like, I think your friend doesn't like me. And he'd be like, why? Cause she was not giving me eye contact. I'd be talking to her and she'd be looking elsewhere. And she's like, no, she can't see well. I'm just like, I'm so sorry, Jeff. I think you should just preface, tell them off rip that your girl can't see before they meet me. Cause it's just easier that way. I was talking to a guy and he was checking for me and we'd be texting back and forth. And I'd, he'd be like, huh? And I realized there's typos on typos in the text. I try to correct the text and then I create more typos. I'm just like this guy, this is a whole mess. Whether he knows I'm visually impaired or not, he's probably just like, what's going, why is this girl fighting with her phone and sending me hieroglyphics? One time I was crossing the street to go to work. A guy was looking at me. Okay, I got it at 7 a.m. He's checking me out. I'm not mad at this. He's like, excuse me, miss. 
there's something in your hair. Oh, shoot. And I feel like a huge glob there. It's not going nowhere. How, how did I miss this? He's like, oh, I'll get it for you. I'm like, no, no, no. My hair products are either sticky, gloopy, or really moisturizing. You don't want that on your hands. At least me, I'm going up to the office right here. I'll be okay. He's like, no, are you sure? I'm like, okay, now you're just being creepy, sir. I've had people from my past jobs be like, hey, Alicia, what's good? Hey, how's it going? You don't remember me? No, I can't see you. Why you gotta lie? Just say you don't remember me, fam. No, I really don't. I can't see you. That happened to me once during Nuit Blanche. It was like a kid that I used to like, I worked at a community center, so there was a bunch of kids there and this person wasn't grown. I was like, whoa, time flies. Then my other friend was like, no, she's really legally blind. He's like, no, you don't gotta lie to me too. <laughs> she's like, no, since you knew me, I got diagnosed with a whole disease. My vision deteriorated to legal blindness. Just trust me. It's all I got is love for you. And he's just like, are you okay? If that's what you, if that's the hill you want to die on, I'm just like, this one was just all types of wrong. This wasn't even embarrassing. This was just like, I just want to go home. So I was coming back from Marrakesh. I had to do a connecting flight in Amsterdam. So you know I was tired. Tell me why when I get to Canadian Customs, I'm oh Canada, so happy to be home. This is the home stretch before I get to call my Uber and get some shut eye because I don't even know when that flight arrived, but it was late at night and I'd work the next day. Anyway, you know me, too many details. What I'm trying to tell you is I'm at the Customs. He's asking me if I brought anything back. I said no. He asked me, are you high? I said, what? He said, are you high? I'm like, no fam, I don't do the weed. If you see me high, you would know it isn't me. It's not a good look. He's like, did you bring any weed back with you? What? No, like the only thing I brought back from Marrakesh was souvenirs, but I ain't gotta claim that. It's not like I spent over whatever the amount was. He's like, you sure you're not high? I'm like, are you asking if I'm high because I'm not looking you in your eyes? He's like, yes. I'm like, I'm legally blind. I have an eye disease. I'm not high. That is the first and only time that I was ever told by someone that they thought I was high because I couldn't see them. You gotta be kidding me. And he even gave me back the passport suspiciously. Like, no, no, you're high. I'm just like, why is this happening to me? Just let me go home at work in the morning. On I don't remember if I was going to Orlando or if it was my cousin's wedding in Miami for Lauderdale, but whichever it was, I was with my other cousin because we were traveling together and I saw a sign and I wanted to zoom in with my phone to see what it said. Would you believe that the sign said no phones past this point? So when the security guard saw me with my phone looking like I'm taking a picture of something that I have no business taking a picture of, does he not pull me to the side? in a room for an hour my cousin was so mad at me i was so embarrassed i just tried to explain like hey this is like my visual aid da, 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 da. <laughs> you can't make this ish up i was just a sign on another trip and i'm just like i think i should need to see this but i'm too petrified to zoom in so i ended up asking someone also times where i've gone to the wrong gate when I'm traveling overseas or even in my city if i'm going to the bus and i'm waiting at the wrong stop for half an hour <laughs> to laugh to keep from crying sometimes because otherwise i'm just like what is my life there's so many blueberries in this blueberry muffin no girl that's mold if you zoom in on the expiration date you're gonna know that's mold oh so gross i don't even know if this is on my instagram anymore but one night i was coming home from chilling with a few co-workers and i'm like oh my gosh that stray cat is so cute when i zoomed i'm like it's not a cat it's a raccoon i was losing it i think i scared the raccoon or was it a skunk it was one of the two but i don't play with these street animals i was just like why why <laughs> i remember i was in the grocery store one time and this older woman asked me to hey dairy can you read this for me she actually said it like that i was like is this a movie and i said sorry i can't read it i'm legally blind and my phone just died she's like oh your vision is worse than mine i'm like yes it is she's like oh my condolences there's also been times where people have come into the restaurant when i work there and said why is your text so big on your phone or on the iPad. Sorry, I'm legally blind. I need to zoom in like this. Oh, good for you that you're still working. There's a time when I was on the elevator and I pressed the wrong button and the guy's like, you need glasses. I'm like, no, glasses don't work. I have an eye disease is like, oh, sorry for your loss. I'm like that's not the correct phrase to say, but I'll take it. I appreciate it. But he felt so embarrassed after. I was just like, it's okay. You didn't know, okay? I always find it funny when people give me attitude. I'm like, no, I have an eye disease. I'm legally blind or visually impaired or whatever I care to say the day. And they're like, oh, 
oh, I'm so sorry. Or they say something. I'm like, why could you just have been nice in the first place? Whether I'm blind or not, you're in the service industry in some capacity. Just be a human being. It's not asking for much, you know? So you know what? I'm going to leave it at that today. And maybe if you're interested, I'll do a part two because I got stories on stories. But that's hopefully enough to tie you over. I hope you had a good laugh. If you relate, again, let me know down below. If you haven't already, subscribe and share to show you care. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.